Thanks for watching. Today we're going to learn about using the full capabilities of closet rods in Mosaic. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so to set up your library with your hardware, you're going to want to go to your library and then hardware. And under all these tabs, you have a closet rods tab. Find one that's close to what you have currently. We've named it with a little HC in front, so I know those are the ones that I've modified. Uh, but there is a few that have pre-set up drilling. Something like this with the oval rod 32 millimeter line bore. That is set up for an oval rod with a bracket similar to this. And I believe it's only doing one hole, but what we want to do is have two holes. In my case, I'm going to delete. The only thing I really want is the SketchUp models and stuff like that. That's all I really care about. So I'm going to delete the boring. I'm going to add my, oops, sorry, delete my, the boring. And I'm going to add my own. So. Your type bore hole for this style. Obviously you can do dados or line bores if you wanted to do something different. In this case, we could use a line bore actually, and that might be the way to go. Let's try that. Cause it's a 32 millimeter spacing for those holes. So we might as well just do a line bore. We need just two holes. Uh, reference from bottom, I guess. Elevation I think would be minus 16 millimeter. We'll, we'll see how this works out. So minus 16 millimeter, the inset reference, it's uh, referencing from the center. If you set this at zero, it's centering it on the, on the closet rod. So pretty much just need that at zero. The depth would be five millimeter, and, or sorry, 12 millimeter, and the depth diameter would be five millimeter. Okay, so we're gonna click okay. Uh, all these other, things here are 3D model modifiers. So you can change the width, height, uh, diameter and whatnot of your 3D model. Uh, this is the, uh, that would be for the 3D model of the hanger and how many hangers you need in there. That's representation only purposes. You don't really have to worry about that if you're not worried about making it look pretty. Uh, then we'll go here. This is your SketchUp model. This is the model of the actual rod itself. Uh, the position, this is also important because it's going to reference your inset here. So we'll set this one at center. Or actually, let's set it at a distance of 10. Yeah, I can leave it at 10 and a half. Uh, this would be the 3D model height of the rod. So your rod depth and height, how how deep and high, obviously it's going to stretch width wise, so it doesn't matter that way. Uh, then you have cost, so you can add a price, you can add a markup percent, you can also add an add on price for say what it costs to install it and your price per foot or your price per unit. So let's try this. We'll give this a go. We have oval rod with 32 millimeter boring, just so we remember the name. To implement this in a job, you have to go to the settings tab over here and then under miscellaneous, you need to make sure you select that rod that we just set up, which would be this one. Then you're going to go back to your products tab. Then you're going to double click your cabinet. Under the interior tab, all you're doing is uh, setting up a one of these splits as a closet rod. So maybe for this purpose, we'll just change this tray to a closet rod. So as you can see, it's added a closet rod. And if you go in your 3D view, you'll see those three hangers that we added in there. Okay, so let's also go to the side view so we can check our dimension of the holes. So we have our holes here and here. Let's just change this to millimeters and then we'll check the reference for that. 
32 millimeter, perfect. So that's getting exactly the reference there. Let's just make sure we're getting our also 10, I believe it was 10 and a half we had set it to for our, so we're getting 12 and 5 sixteenths. Okay, let's just see what's going on there. Click, 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 okay. First thing we're gonna do, make sure I selected the right one. I did not. I need to, that's my setup, so I need to click this one. So we're gonna go back, double click. I was surprised it worked right off the bat. So it does not appear that we're getting any holes. Let's just check our No, there should be some holes right about here. Okay. Typical when you're adding stuff like this that things don't work out quite the way you expect right off the bat. So let's just troubleshoot what's going on here. Okay, so I actually forgot some things here. So uh, referencing actually from the rod center, you gotta click that and then the reference from the rod center again. And then we click OK. Let's try this one more time. Open that up. And we will scroll. So now, looks like we're getting what we want. Let's double check. Should be 32 mil, which it is. And then Oops, I want to reference from the edge to the back, 10 and 13 sixteenths. Is that about what we wanted? Okay, let's just go back to hardware. Ten and a half. Very close. Do we want to worry about a few? I'd be if it was me, I wouldn't worry about it. But I suppose if I'm showing you, I should really figure out exactly why. Sometimes Mosaic also has, I don't want to call them bugs, but it's just a, a, some sort of an implementation that isn't working the way you want it to. And then you just work with that and you adjust the number here till it's what you want it to be. Um, that has happened a few times and then another update comes out and then they fix that and then you have to revert that back. Um, I'm going to leave it. I think that's close enough. Let's, all, all we really care about is that it's referencing from there. So let's change it to 13 and make sure it's updating properly. It appears that it is. Could be that too, not grabbing it right in the right location. Or it could have something to do with my back, recessed back, because it is 3 16 of an inch. Um, yeah, that's probably it. Then it would be pushing it. Anyway, that's getting you close enough, so change that number to whatever you need it to be. So that's the next step. So now you have setup hardware. I'm going to call it quotes setup. It's not quite set up yet, but your drilling is set up. So, and your hardware, you're in the library is set up. So what you're going to do is go to uh, job parameters and you have to go to the category closets. Uh, here you want to set down the, set up the distance from the top. So I think it's usually two inches. So you'd set that at two. 
and then your length minus. So this would be the distance you want to remove from the rods so that you can get a cut list. So let's look at our unit here. Uh, this would be about a sixteenth of an inch distance from that you have to trim from each side. So let's just here again. So it's that distance divided by two. So what you want to do is calculate that amount and then double it. So let's go here. So about a sixteenth, so it should be about one eighth. Uh, let's go here. And then the last factor that you want to check is your cut list. So go to print, print job. Then you want to go down to hardware list. Um, you'll see, let's just do a preview and then blow it up. So it's currently exporting. This is just the hardware cut list. So I didn't add any elevation views or anything. So here you'll see this is the length that you can have these rods cut at. So you could just send this list out and have your guys cut it down or cut the rods to size or order them pre-cut, whatever. Let's just do a quick test. So the interior, this should be 24 if that's coming out correctly. And the interior width is in fact 24. So that is working correctly. Let's just give you an example of having a handful of different rods in different lengths. And then we'll go into this one and then we'll add a couple extra rods. Okay, should also note that it's also automatically setting it at that two inch spacing that we set in the parameters. So now you go back to print, print job. You're going all the way down to, if you don't know how to use this print job, I have a video on that, check that out. Uh, you're going to print cut list and then go to your hardware list. This is the important list to add. So we're gonna preview it and we'll see what the difference was there. So as you can see, you have hardware of an oval closet rod. You have, it's going in, we only have one room in this job, so it's not gonna say the room number. Otherwise it would say room one cabinet, whatever. Uh, in this case, it just says one, cause there's only one room. So uh, one cabinet number one has a quantity as you can see here, of one closet rod, cut to the length of 38 and 5 eighths. Then we have three uh, cabinet three has one closet rod, cut to the length of 37 and 1 eighth. And then you have cabinet two has three closet rods, cut to the length of 23 and 7 eighths. So once you're fully set up with this, it's really handy, saves you a lot of time. So I'd suggest uh, going forth and following this video and setting yourself up. Thanks for watching. That's about it for this one. See you on the next one.